Oh my God. Oh my God. What is the world coming to? I mean, let me, first off, let me start with this. Um, Captain Crunch is my favorite cereal. I've been eating it since I was a kid, of course. And um, it's great. I love Captain Crunch. It's my favorite. So that's why it's center stage as you listen to what I have to say about this drag queen story hour. Um, I don't get it. These drag queens are supposed to be reading to the children. Children. I can't even get the words out. I'm so fucking flabbergasted about this shit. Now, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you the story what happened. This happened in the UK. Just got through watching a video about it. I thought I put mine up. I, I want to talk about it too. Thank you, Hodge Twins. You guys are awesome. Love your content. You make me laugh. You guys are great. Okay, back to the video. Um, this happened in the UK. This drag queen. First, she... <laughs> I'll say she loosely. First, she mentions that the game Fortnite... Is have, you, have you ever played Fortnite? Have you ever played a Fortnite? I don't know if that's a good accent, but you, you know how UK talk if you were American or not from UK. But anyways, um, and, and then she proceeded to show, ki show the kids what twerking looks like. Now, the room wasn't all full of kids. Of course, there was some adults in there, too, because you heard this guy laughing and shit. I guess he's a father, one of the kids watching this drag bitch twerk, you know. It's like, motherfucker, you're supposed to be reading to the kids, not teaching them how to fucking twerk. A sexually suggestive, and I repeat, a sexually suggestive gesture is twerking. Sexually suggestive. In fact, as the Hodge twin said, that, that wasn't twerking, that was dry, that was air humping. He didn't, those weren't exact words, but that's what it was. It was air humping. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be reading to the kids, not teaching them how to twerk. These are kids. Children. What the fuck? And he gonna ask them, do you know what twerking is? These are fucking kindergartners. Ele kindergarten to elementary school kids. I, I, in fact, I don't even think they... I think they was below elementary school. Oh, my God. Oh. And, and then the defenders are like, oh, this is teaching acceptance and tolerance, you know. Well, newsflash, motherfucker. I don't need to send my child to drag queen story hour to teach them about tolerance towards drag queens and gays and lesbians, LGBT, ABC, the AFG, HIJK, the community. I don't have to do that to teach them tolerance. It's fucking ridiculous. It's, it's like people say it's indoctrination, you know, it's, it's, it's some fucking freaky shit. It really is. That's crazy. Listen, with all due respect to Michael Jackson, I know I'm going on a tangent. I don't give a fuck. I just I just popped in my head. I got to talk about it. With all due respect to Michael Jackson, it's like, oh, I don't. Oh, some people say he fucked the kids, and some people say he didn't fuck the kids. Well, neither side can fucking prove it without beyond reasonable doubt. It's a he say against he. It's a he say she say shit. Now, I love Michael Jackson. I respect him. God rest his soul. But I would not let my child go over that man's house. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. Because he is peculiar. He's strange. And yes, he is strange. Michael Jackson was sitting with a child with his hands entwined in the child's hand. And it got, and the interviewer was like, don't you think that's weird? Michael Jackson replied, 
he said that he think it's weird that other people think it's weird. Now, if that ain't a strange motherfucker, I don't know what it is. In some cases, as, as some people believe, a child fucker. You know, I don't know if he did it or not, but having your kids sleep over his house is fucking, that is really weird. And one person was like, you only have boys over there. And that, that brings me to my next point. You didn't bring your daughters over there because you, you can't get me to believe that all them boys that went on Michael Jackson's house didn't have no sisters. You wouldn't send your daughters there, but you're going to send your sons there to a grown-ass man's house to sleep with this man. And no, I ain't talking about sex with him when I say sleep with him, you nasty fucks that's watching this video. <laughs> I love y'all, though. Um... I'm talking about literally sleeping with him. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? But anyways, this drag hour is fucking bullshit. It's more than just fucking drag hour story time. It's more than just that. They even had one drag queen that was doing it that was a convicted child um, molester on multiple, on multiple counts. You know, that is weird. It's like, why are you allowed to be around kids anyway when you are a convicted felon of child molestation? Don't they tell you to stay away from kids, stay away from parks? Isn't that the fucking for, isn't that the fucking method that a rather enough procedure that they use to, to, to keep you away from children? What the fuck, man? So, anyways, man, I'm done. Um it's crazy. Boy, oh boy. I, I just try to keep my sanity. It's, it's nuts. I know, I'm a, I know I'm not normal, you know, as far as mentally wise. I'm a crazy motherfucker, man. But I don't want to lose my sanity to the point where I end up in a fucking insane asylum and shit over this fucking world that we live in there. Um, but anyways, uh, that's that's what I want to share with you tonight. Um, whatever. So, this is Y Chromosome signing out. Peace and love. Holy shit. Mm, mm, mm. They supposed to be reading to the kids. Not teaching them how to fucking twerk. <laughs>